Thomas and Scruff on the island of Sodor. All the engines are busy engines, but some have special jobs. Percy pulls the mail trucks. Gordon pulls the express. Thomas has his branch line. And Whiff works at the waste dump. One morning, Whiff was biffing and bashing rubbish trucks. Thomas chuffed cheerfully into Whiff's waste dump. Good morning, Whiff. You look busy. I am, Thomas. I can't stop to talk. I have to puff round the island to pick up more trucks. Then I have to shove them back here, and it must all be tidied away by tea time. The fat controller said so. Thomas smiled. He had good news for his friend. Don't worry, Whiff. When you puff back, you will have a helper. His name is Scruff the Scruncher. I'm going to pick him up at Brendam Docks now. Whiff wished with excitement. Are you sure? A helper for me? That's right, Whiff. Just for you. And Thomas huffed happily away to Brendan Docks. At Brendan Docks, Scruff the Scruncher was waiting for Thomas. Hello, Scruff. I'm Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Scruff was small, square, and very scruffy. Thomas liked Scruff, but he was worried. Really useful engines couldn't be really dirty ones. An idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Before I take you to Whiff's waste dump, I'm going to bring you a welcome to Sodor surprise. Wait here. Scruff was puzzled. If you say so, Thomas. And Thomas steamed swiftly away. Thomas collected a flatbed full of buckets and brushes, soap suds and sponges. Being clean is being really useful. We will be happy to see Scruff shine and clean. And Thomas chuffed cheerfully back to Brendan Docks. Thomas whooshed into the docks. Here you are, Scruff. You're welcome to Sodor Surprise. With a splosh and a splash, you'll be clean in a dash. Scruff gasped. He'd never seen soap suds, and he'd never seen brushes. They looked very scary. They looked too scary. Uh, bye, Thomas. And with a clickety crack, Scruff pushed away down the track and was gone. Thomas was surprised. Fizzling fireboxes. Scruff scared of being clean. I must buff after him as fast as my pistons will pump. <laughs> Scruff rattled and raced down the track. Thomas puffed and pounded after him. No! But Scruff didn't stop. He slipped down the side and disappeared. Thomas huffed to a halt. He peered down the siding. There was no sign of Scruff. Then Thomas saw a little puff of steam. Scruff had hidden himself behind the bushes. Scruff! Hello! But Scruff didn't answer, and he didn't come out. Just then, Gordon shoved grandly by with the express. What are you doing, Thomas? Scruff the scruncher is hiding because he doesn't want to be cleaned. Hmm. Can you help me? Can you think of something to bring Scruff out of his hiding place? I know. Scruff, it's Gordon here. Would you like to see my express carriages? They're the grandest on the island. Thomas and Gordon waited. But Scruff didn't whoosh, and Scruff didn't whoosh. He didn't do anything at all. Oh, dear. Thank you, Gordon. I don't think Scruff wants to see your express. Oh, the indignity! Gordon puffed buttily away. Then Henry rolled by. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing? Scruff the Scruncher is hiding because he doesn't want to be clean. You're old and wise. Huh? 
Can you think of something to bring Scruff out of his hiding place? Hmm. I think I have a very good idea. Scruff? Hello? It's Henry, the green engine here. I wonder whether you might like to come with me to get my special coal. Thomas and Henry waited. But Scruff didn't whoosh, and Scruff didn't wish. He didn't do anything at all. Bust my buffers. Thank you, Henry. I don't think Scruff wants to see your special coal. What a shame. Maybe another day. And Henry steams sweetly away. Next person of Burgery Barn. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing? Scrub the scruncher is hiding because he doesn't want to be clean. Can you help me? Can you think of something to bring Scruff out of his hiding place? I know. Hello, Scruff. I'm Percy. I pull the mail trucks. They're red and they're wooden and they're full of very exciting parcels. Would you like to come with me? Thomas and Percy waited. But Scruff didn't whoosh. And Scruff didn't wish. He didn't do anything at all. Flatten my funnel, Percy. What am I going to do? I don't know, Thomas. But I have to go. I'm late with the mail. Just then, Whiff went down the track, pulling a long train of rubbish trucks. He smiled when he saw Thomas. Hello, Thomas. I'm really looking forward to having Scruff to help me. He'll enjoy biffing and bashing all this rubbish. And with waddled away. Thomas felt terrible. Cinders and ashes. I promised Whiff a helper. Now I've scared him away. All because I thought that to be really useful, he had to be really clean. And all Scruff really wants to do... He scrunched rubbish. Suddenly, an idea popped into Thomas's pistons. Of course. I know what to do. Thomas's axles tingled and tinkled. Scrub! There are lots of rubbish trucks waiting for you to scrunch. Would you like me to show you them? Suddenly, Scruff whooshed out of hiding and onto the track. Scruff was ready and raring to go. First... Thomas and Scruff picked up rubbish at the Sodor Steamworks. Next, they rattled him out of the station for another rubbish truck. And then Thomas and Scruff steamed to the clock. At last, Thomas and Scruff rattled into Whip's waist dump. Well done, Scruff! Then, Whip wished him. Trembling tracks! You must be Scruff! And look how really useful you are already! Scruff was scruffier but happier than ever. Pleased to be here, Whiff! Let's get scrunchy! So Whiff and Scruff biffed and bashed. They crashed and smashed. And Thomas laughed until his wheels woke.